Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Saladino. This is a small YouTube channel, like very small. <laughs> and I always feel bad for people who come across it. You know, if a video of mine does relatively well. I always feel bad for everybody because it's so lo-fi. You know, I just do it on my laptop and all of a sudden out of nowhere, you know, there's always noises going on in the background. The air conditioner will come on full blast. The laptop's fans will start whirring nonstop. Uh, planes fly overhead, all kinds of stuff. And I haven't been able to sit down and really figure out how to like isolate those sounds and get them out. And that's something I'm gonna work on over time. And I've teamed up with my brother like he's much more successful than I am, is more stable, is doing well in his business. And, you know, I, I want to get my shit together. <laughs> so I've teamed up with him to kind of help me. And so I'm kind of relying on him and trusting him to help me get to the next level. Because he's like, stick with me, kid. I'll, I'll make you a star, even though he's the younger brother. <laughs> but anyway, not necessarily in YouTube, but I do want to build my YouTube channel. And there are other things that I'm interested in doing. And it's just funny because, OK, so like I said, he's successful at business. And for a while, he used to run like managed restaurants and he ran a... <clears throat> gentlemen's club and one of the main things he talks about is how important having attractive women there and the guy is like really professional about that it's not an issue of yeah, i get these hot chicks so i can exploit them no it's just about you get these women in who are attractive who are personable who are nice who are also very professional was something he's always been impressed with how professional like the best strippers are you know they come they do their business they're not doing the side shit they're not doing extras or whatever else they do their business make their money and go and but they're always attractive they always keep themselves looking good in shape blah 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 right and even like in the restaurant like he's like i can make more money with fewer waitresses who are attractive and charming and personable than with a whole just big staff of busted looking waitresses with bad attitudes so i say all of this to say this mary jane thing to me finally clicked something that i may have said it before actually i have and other people have said it um v from lack of entertainment has kind of mentioned this too this idea that he had did this tweet where he was like i'll pay 70 dollars for like this big boob waifu and then he got a lot of pushback on it which was insane pushback it was from furries of course like something's wrong with furries they have mental illness you know i had a video recently and I had this this furry saying that I had incel vibes because I'm complaining about male spaces being evaded by feminists and some of us being an incel. But anyway, so furries are insane. But the first tweet was a big boob waifu. Then he did another tweet where he was like, look, I'd pay $70 for just an average McDonald's worker girl um, <laughs> to be the star. And so this Mary Jane tweet that somebody put out presenting the new look for this insomniac Spider-Man 2 what stood out to me was there was no need to make her look this unattractive and unappealing. I, full disclosure, I have no interest in Spider-Man 2. And I'm so blackpilled at this point that I'm like, okay, once they changed Spidey's look, Peter's look, once they changed him and make him look like Tom Holland or Todd Hillston, whatever his name is, who's Spider-Man in uh, the MCU. Once they did that, I was like, I'm not buying it. You know, I'm already not a fan of Miles Morales, but I still would have gotten the Miles Morales game if they didn't change Peter's face. I just don't like it. It doesn't feel like a real genuine change. They did it so they wanted to make him look like the MCU Spider-Man, which is to me the worst Spider-Man. I don't even consider him a Spider-Man. He's Iron Boy. You know, he's Iron Man's butt boy for all I care. I don't care about that character or that version of the character. So I'm saying that to say, basically, I already didn't care about the game, but looking at mj i'm like Phew, it's a good thing i wasn't interested in this because mj was the worst thing about the first game literally whenever she would call i would start breaking out in hives i would start tensing up and feeling bad and i spurging out literally started screaming one time when she called this is like i know what's going to happen obviously every time this bitch calls you have to play as her in a just a tedious hateful obnoxious 
fucking section. And the thing is, I didn't even like Mary Jane in that. Forget playing as her. I didn't like how she looked. She looked and sounded like a Karen. You know, they made her a reporter. She wasn't really that attractive. I mean, she wasn't like as bad as she is now, but she wasn't all that hot to begin with. She still looked like a Karen in that game. And she sounded like a Karen. She was very annoying. She was very hateful. And it was one of those things. So the the quote retweets. It's funny how so many of the, the guys are like, Venom can have her. If she gets kidnapped, I'm not going to save her. And it was one of the things, this is a, you know, a terrible, toxic male thought. But one of the things I would always say is like, if these guys catch her, it's like, who cares? Nothing's going to happen to her. They're just going to look at her and just send her on her way. <laughs> it's not like she's going to have to worry about an irreversible situation or something here. You know, a fate worse than death. She doesn't, she doesn't look like anything. She's just a boring woman. It's like, get out of here. They didn't have to go this far. They should have just left her as she was. She already wasn't under threat from the male gaze to begin with. They've really gone out of their way. She does look like, I think it was Kyle's video. He showed one of the Wayans brothers as one of the white chicks. And she looks like that. I don't understand. She has no boobs. She's an old hag. She just looks like somebody who's in this picture. She's, it's, it's like a parody of itself. She's literally saying, hmm, can I speak to your manager, please? But that's what she looks like. There's, there's nothing about this woman that screams MJ at all. It's just plain old white woman. She's not a redhead. She has no boobs. She has nothing that's appealing about her. When they do this, they're telling you that they have to go this far because, okay, all of this defeating the male gaze bullshit the argument is they're trying to desexualize the women. And what they're basically saying is in order to desexualize women, they have to make them look like men. They have to basically take everything that makes a woman a woman away from her in order to be desexualized because they know that the sexualization argument is not a real argument. It doesn't make sense. Humans are naturally attracted to other humans. It's not about objectification. People say, you know, back in the day, they used to use sex object and sex symbol. And that's fine. These words can be used for different things. It doesn't mean that this person is an actual object. We know that. But the way that feminists and SJWs mess with words and meanings of things, they take, they purposely act like everything is literal. And they don't allow room for any kind of nuance or flexibility in how we understand and speak about things, creativity in the way we do it. Like, that's the whole threat to art is this SJW push. It was already bad when you know, just studios would adapt something that geeks loved and took everything interesting out of it to make it, you know, just mush for the average person to understand and enjoy. Now we have these stupid ass SJWs and activists in the hobbies and they've completely stripped everything appealing and worthwhile about the endeavor. It's like, what's the use? Why even have MJ in this game if she's just some old hag? Everybody knows Mary Jane Watson is a certified dime piece. A 10 out of 10, got it front, back, and side to side. She tells Peter the first time she meets him that he hit the jackpot. She knows she's got everything. They wouldn't have even needed Oppenheimer back during World War II if they wanted. They could have just dropped her over Hiroshima. But, um, <laughs> so even the first game nerfed her looks. And then they changed her personality. They made her a reporter instead of a model and actress. And that was bad enough. And to now... If you wanted to use this defense that we're trying to not just defeat the male gaze, but we're also concerned about impossible beauty standards. Like I always say, why are women and girls allegedly using male entertainment, male fantasy and male sort of the appeal of idealized feminine beauty and fantasy and, you know, speculative fiction or whatever. Why are you comparing yourselves to these fictional characters instead of real life? Like, don't come to my entertainment with this bullshit that you need to be represented through a male hobby that we're supposed to care about your self-esteem and stuff that we fantasize about or like i say fantasize but you're playing a game you just enjoy how hot 2b is or whatever right quiet right so mj the way they make her look now it's not even about impossible beauty standards because she doesn't even look like a normal woman one of the worst um comments i get is from furries and trans women telling me that I don't know what a real woman looks like. Like, I can't just go outside. Even if you call me an incel and say you're an incel, I can just go to work or go outside. I can just go to the store. Like I talk about Trader Joe's. Every chick in Trader Joe's and including older chicks is hotter than MJ is in this Spider-Man 2. You could just pick almost any of the chick, like moms, literal moms walking around with their kids around them are hotter than this uh, MJ. 
and we're so, like we're supposed to just accept this as oh it's you know we the the male gaze is harmful to women and impossible beauty standards is harmful to women and you, you say all that and then this is what your response is to it like your solution to you know idealize women in beauty and defeating the male gaze is making a guy get the fuck out of here <laughs>